Hi guys, you are on VariantM24.com and today we will disassemble the smartphone Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. First of all, we need to remove the car tray. For this we take a special tool, insert it into the hole and push out the car tray. By the way, it is located at the bottom. After that, we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of about 65 degree Celsius or 160 degree Fahrenheit. For this, we use a heating mat. You can use a hair dryer. And after 5 or 7 minutes, we can proceed to the assembly. To remove the back cover, we will use a plastic film, such as the protective film from the new display or a plastic film from a stationary store. Insert it into the hole between the middle cover and the back cover and run it along the back cover to detach it. We always need to be careful around the side buttons because there may be cables in this area and they could be damaged. We also need to be careful in the area of the cameras so as not to touch or damage the lenses. After that, we need to unscrew some of the screws at the top. We use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or hash tool. And with a non-metal tool, we need to disconnect the wireless charging and NFC connectors and leave this part hiding the motherboard. We bend the wireless charging aside and use a non-metal tool to hook the edge of the connector and disconnect the battery connector. And we move on to unscrewing the screws at the bottom. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver. The screws seem to be all the same, but we still recommend placing them on a special surface in an easy to remember order for assembly. And we can detach the cover with a speaker. We find the right and convenient place to hook the cover and lift it off. As we can see, here we have an NFC, wireless charging and loudspeaker. Then we can disconnect the interboard cable connectors. Disconnect the connector for the display and the connectors for the other two cables on the subboard and motherboard and remove the cables. For assembly on the cables, it is written that should be their position in relation to the motherboard and subboard. And we need to unscrew three screws securing the subboard. The screwdriver is the same, Philips HTO or 1.5 mm. Screws from different parts are better to be located separately. They can be visually similar but different, such as being non-magnetic for example. And we can detach the subboard. Carefully put the edge in the right place and pull it out. By the way, subboard is slightly recessed. On the subboard we have a microphone, charging port and a cards holder on the back side. Since the microphone hole is located next to the card tray, we need to check whether we will damage the microphone if we insert a tool into the hole. As we can see, the hole in the middle frame we have a L shape, at the end of the hole gasket and with membrane that are located perpendicular to the hole and press it against the subboard and the microphone hole and the body of the microphone is located on the other side. And I think it is impossible to damage the microphone with a tool and in this way. Ok, we disconnect the S Pen connector the connector to the sensor, the connector to the speaker and bend the cables away. 
We check that nothing is in our way. And we unscrew the remaining screws, securing the motherboard, assembly of cameras and cover with antenna transmission lines. The screwdriver is the same, 1.5 mm Phillips. After that, we can detach the cover with antennas. Hook the edge and detach it. We have sensor on the cover. Then we can remove the front camera. In our case, the camera was easily detached. But you may have it firmly glued. So we can detach the motherboard. Find the right and convenient place to hook the motherboard. And take the circuit board out and turn it over. And now we need to remove the assembly of the rear cameras. We look at the places where it is attached. It is best not to press the cameras against the table to avoid damaging the lenses. Also, the cameras are connected to each other. This point should be taken into account and we have to be careful. And we disconnect the connectors and take out the assembly of cameras. Ok guys, this is the end of our assembly. Thank you for watching and see you around. Or in the new video. It's living with no shame. Wait, no, it's sleeping in on Sundays. I guess it's different for each of us, and that's okay. Well, I just want to be happy. How to get there? Hmm, glad that you asked me. I think it's different for everyone. Some of us need work, others need fun. Some of us need purpose to overcome. But try to do what you love when it's said and done. Cause there's so many differences in each of us. Trust your gut, it can show you what you want. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want, and I pray, all I need. Okay guys, now we're done. Thank you for watching. If you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself, and until next video.